this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have an unboxing from an estate sale today. So um, I uh, purchased uh, several lots from um, about three different estate sales and have a um, whole house to unbox now. Lots of lots. So I'm going to start with one box and see how far I get, and then I will probably have a bunch more of these uh, popping up. So this box on top has uh, some baskets. So we're going to be starting with some baskets. And um, I really like baskets. I think that they are a great accent to home decor. And uh, this one is a really nice, colorful one. Now, these um, have been sitting around for a while, so they are probably a little dusty. Um, doesn't show on here. I'm trying to get the... Maybe I won't try to get the lid off. Um, but I was looking to see if it showed where it was made. It doesn't, but really like the coloring on that one. And it's a nice mid-size basket. Um, next basket, let's see what we have here. Oh, this one is a nice weave open basket. That's great for any holiday decor. And this is just a made in China. So it probably came with something in it, um, but that's really nice. Put a napkin um, or a scarf in here to decorate it for a seasonal display. And then this is what I really like to see, the, the very interesting weaves. Now this one has a lot of detailing, a really pretty bottom where they've added this extra piece to it. And this looks like a tie to keep the lid on. Oh, I might have to untie that. Nope, it goes this way. But it is nice that it's tied on so you don't lose the lid. But really nice weave full of texturing and designs. Again, that's a nice mid-size, but that looks great in decor also. Um, oh, we've got a little one in here. We've got a very small lidded basket. That again, beautiful weave on that. Great texture for being a nice small little basket. That's gonna add a good splash to decor. Um, this looks kind of like um, maybe a bathroom basket or um, uh, some kind of a trash can or laundry hamper style basket. So that's nice. And oh, we've got this basket. Now this one does have a bit of dust on it, needs a cleaning, but that is a nice lidded basket. Very structurally sound. That is like really hard. Um, that is a good container to store things in. I've got another basket here. I guess this is probably an open weave basket since the top is really decorated nicely. Now this is just a small little like trinket dish size basket, but again, beautiful design, great for a splash of texture in a decor. And then this one, oh, this is fun. This is almost like a purse. So it has the fabric lining in it and Oh, can I get this open? Oh, that's, boy, that's going to stay shut if you need it to. But look at that great basket with a fabric lining all the way through. So again, great for home accent, but <laughs> I like that. You really could use that as like a little purse. Take that with you. And then in here, I have got, well, I've got Joe behind me here, who's probably looking to get into trouble. Um, so I think I have some large pieces that are wrapped in, I'll start with this one. They are wrapped in paper. So I'm going to try to minimize the noise with the unwrapping. And I have, oh, that's nice. There. I have this beautiful vase. This again needs to be cleaned, um, but look at the design on that. I love clear glass, never afraid of uh, clear glass because of the beautiful designs that are in these. And that's almost a little pinwheel design that's etched in there. 
That is nice. That has lots of texture and beautiful etching. This probably has some weight to it. So this is probably crystal, um, cut crystal. Very nice design, nice tall. This is great for tulips, daffodils, anything with a nice long stem. Now I've got another one in here about that same shape. So let's see. Oh, this is similar, but a little different. This has the flower etched in here, but look at that stem. Wow, that is nice. And again, this needs to be cleaned, but oh, look at the flower design on that. That is beautiful. And again, this is cut in to this, so I'm gonna imagine this is crystal. It's got a little bit of weight to it. So that is crystal. You can see I've got a little bit of sun coming through and the lights overhead, and look at how the light just dances around all of those cuts. I love that about um, about the clear glass. And then you can see it only goes down to here. It doesn't go down all the way to the bottom. I have a really big piece here. That was nice. They double so well, that was very nice of them. And oh, it looks like lead crystal. Sticker on it. Oh, get the paper out of the way. So here we have a beautiful lead crystal vase. Look at the cuts on that. Oh, the diamond cuts. Beautiful floral design on this. Now this is a little bit on the larger side and here is the sticker, lead crystal. And this says uh, that it was made in Germany. Oh, hand cut made in Western Germany. Um, so that has some age to it. Little sticker here that says finest quality. So yeah, so that's got some age to it. This beautiful design, I would imagine um, that those other two very possibly could also be from Western Germany. But look at that design. Almost looks like a butterfly with those being like the wings of a butterfly, but that is lovely. And I'm going to get the other really big piece out of that my box doesn't go sailing around. This is, oh, this is another, um, oh, this is Bohemia. This is Czechoslovakian, or yeah, Czech, well, this says Czech Republic. And I'll show you the stickers on here. So we have, Bohemia made in Czech Republic, hand cut lead crystal from the Czech Republic. Beautiful design. Look at the way that picks up the light. I just love that. And this does have a little bit of weight to it and it is nice and tall. This is definitely for that big bouquet of roses um, or something. Here is the bottom. That is beautiful. Really nice. Put that, oops, right over there. <laughs> um, let's see. A couple little stray pieces here. This is a little, oh, this is like a little Mickey Mouse pin. Here we go. Very small little Mickey Mouse pin, but that's in the box. And then there's also, hmm little blue flowers. So we'll see if I find what goes with the flowers and the Mickey. What else is in here? I think there's just a couple more pieces in here. And oh, this is pretty. So here is a tray. Look at that nice design. Now this is just a trinket dish size, just maybe about six inches long, but beautiful detailing and again the inside is nice and smooth the, oops the detailing is on the outside <laughs> very nice beautiful design 
And I think that is it. They did a very nice job of putting down a, um, like a towel on the bottom to protect all of that. So that was nice. And um, I think, okay, I think since I don't know where, there we go. There, now don't play with that. Um, I think I'm going to, let's see. Get that one up here. Let's see. Oh my gosh. This box does have handles on it, but they um they taped over them. So <laughs> but I thought since that uh just took about 10 minutes, I would quickly go through maybe another box here and see this one. Um Oh, here we have a glass pitcher. Again, beautiful etching on this to um, put that design in. Nice flowers, nice size pitcher. And here is a plate. This is like a grapes pattern on it. Very nice. And then I've got some linens, and um, I did also use some of the linens to wrap because uh, um, I think this was from a different estate sale, and they didn't do as much wrapping as the other one did. But here's a nice hanky, so that will get uh, laundered up. And then I've got, um, oops, here's the matching hanky. And this looks like the stopper to a bottle. So I'll be finding that bottle. And then here we have this nice little etched. I'm going to say maybe this is like a little toothpick holder. Oops. Oh, a little spoon. And oh, here's a creamer. Oh, it's got that pinwheel design that I really like. That looks fabulous in the light. So here is a nice creamer. And this one is just, oh, this is a handkerchief that has a pretty little design in the corner. So again, I like to launder, um, oh, that goes, oh, that goes on a top with the spoon. That go on there. Oh, I think that goes on there. Okay, so that's like a little jam jar with a little lid and a little slot there for the spoon. Well, that's fun. Here is a, um, I guess this is almost like maybe a little dresser scarf. That's pretty. A little cross stitch design on that. And here are some more plates. Let's see, yep, the same grapes pattern on those. And then another one of these pretty hankies. And another grapes pattern. And another hanky. And one more, yep, another grapes pattern. So that's a set of four of those and another one of these pretty hankies. This one has, oh, this has a label. Let's see if I can read. Oh, I think that just says 100% cotton on it. Oh, it opens up here in the middle. Oh, made in China, 100% cotton. Well, still good. Maybe those are napkins. Oh, these are the Coca-Cola. Okay. Uh, part of the lot I got had some really fun Coca-Cola glasses. And so look at this one. Oh, I like that. Enjoy Coca-Cola. But I love this design. Kind of an art deco design on that. 
is, oh, here's another one kind of similar. Must be part of a series where they did this kind of deco design, but I love that. Those are nice. And oh, this is like a Christmas Coca-Cola glass. Oh, that is nice. Is, oh, here is a mug. And we've got, oh, I should start over here. So we've got the cute little gal in her bathing suit. What I want is a Coke. And this is, uh, let's see. Well, I'll hold that up. Indoor poster 1952. That was used for that mug. Well, that's fun. And then there's a set of these. It's almost like uh, recycled glass. So there is a set of those. Let's see if I have room here to put all of these. There we go. And then there's another one of those. So these are slightly green. That's really nice. And then, oh, and then this is just a plain Coca-Cola and Coke on that side. But I don't know if you can see, but this one, let's see if I put them, nope, it's really hard to tell. This one is just a little light on the green side compared to the other one. And then this one, oh, it's like this, but with the white lettering instead of the red lettering. Posters. So here we have the Coca Cola like bottling. And then this one says, Enjoy Coca Cola. And of course, the polar bears. Love that. Cork on the back of those. And then, oh, this is one kind of in that same series. This one is for Diet Coke. It has a little swirl in there. That is nice. And oh, and here's another one oh, like this, that style, where it has Coke on one side and then Coca-Cola on the other side. And here's another one. So this looks like maybe there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five of those so far. Oh, and here's the sixth one. So there's six of those Coca-Cola glasses. Oh, there's another one. So there's seven. Let's see if we get to eight. Oh, this one is part of the other series. So it is like this one. So two of those. Oh, there's another one of those. So let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of those. And another red Coca-Cola one. And this one is, looks like maybe it's been through the dishwasher on that one. Not quite as vibrant. And oh, it's another one of the Christmas ones. Oh, isn't that nice? So there's two of those. Very good. Uh, so yeah, so that was fun. So that's two boxes of uh, <laughs> a whole bunch, but I need to start going through these so <laughs> and getting them organized and getting them prepped so that they can be part of my live sale. But if you are interested in anything that you saw, please feel free to contact me and, um, and we'll talk about it. 
And at those, thanks for watching. Um, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the, my channel so you, you'll get notified. Um, when I go for my live for my sales and when I put out new video content and um, and thanks for watching please thumbs up the video on your way out and take care and I hope to see you at uh, my live sale